Next, moving on to the lecture. Uh, we regret that the uh, mayor has to leave now due to his next appointment. Now, we would like to welcome Professor uh, Fujita. Please come up to the podium. Now, let me introduce him to you. The Department of Urban Engineering uh, to Graduate School of Tokyo University Professor Fujita Tsuyoshi. He will serve both as a lecturer as well as a coordinator of panel discussion. Now, please start the presentation. Thank you very much, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for the introduction. I'm uh, Department of uh, Urban Engineering in Tokyo University Graduate School. Fujita. Uh, for the past 30 years, I'm talking about this recycling and the circulation engagement studies. And for the past 10 years, de, de urbanization has been my theme. Since I got into the uh, research community, the one I started with it was a Kawasaki. At the very beginning, this forum, very first time was 2003. Uh, the, with the introduction of many people. Uh, we, Sue, Dr. Sueyoshi was one of them who introduced me to. And let's get into Kawasaki. I was a professor of Toyo University together with uh, students every month, every, once every week, once a week. So you come here and at the city office and uh, factory at the coastal area. Actually, I have met 100 people hundred companies I made a questionnaire to. So based on that experience, we'd like to talk about, we'd like to work as a leader of a green economy. So Kawasaki would do so many things and by disseminating it to many parts of the world, Japan, we hope that they will create a new innovation in Japan. So by presenting my, a, so talking about the green innovation, the key word for Kawasaki City is uh, urban industrial symbiosis. So industrial symbiosis came from Europe. So industry is live as if they are living creature. So by collaborating company and company, uh, the corporation create the metabolism and uh, nurture and grow. That is called symbiosis or coexistence. Without symbiosis, the world cannot live, continue to live or survive. So that word came from that kind of background. Next page. So that discussion started, argument started. Probably the people here are about the same age. You can remember, you remember 1990s. From 1990s, there was a limit of the growth. The word limitation in growth has been around. Uh, we need to continuously grow, sustainable growth needs. And ozone layer problem has been commonly shared in the international world. That is in 1990s. In that framework, uh, there are many terminologies came up. And one of them was uh, industry symbiosis. So mass production, mass consumption, we shouldn't stay as it is and in order to live together. Uh, you will f see later about Kawasaki as we closely look at it. We are, I think, Kawasaki is one step ahead because the uniqueness of Kawasaki is that uh, industry is concentrated as well, but at the same time, there is a residence nearby. That is uh, unlikely in U.S. and China uh, industrial park that we call it urban as industry co-symbiosis. Whether it is really happening or not, that is one of my themes. 
And in order to realize any symbiosis, there would be how we can contribute to the circulation society and decarbonation society. I'd like to talk about a part of my study on that theme. Next slide, please. In, in that, uh, in 1990s, 1990s, uh, symbiosis and uh, circulation society, there came a trend to make a city that represented, and you may have heard it, as you have seen in the exhibition, Echo Town exhibition, I think you have already seen, Japanese style like a symbiosis project is to create a circulation type of community, make uh, the complex into circulation model. It has started in 1995, and since at that time, uh, companies in and administration of that Kawasaki created this picture. As you can see, there are many industrial facilities uh, located in the coastal area, and the water needs to be con circulated on a waste to need to be circulated, and heat and energy should be exchanged and circulated. And uh, 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 urban areas and the residential area can benefit from them. And that was the idea. And this is the Japanese uh, symbiosis. And Kawasaki as Ecotown, we decided to realize it. And this picture was drawn in 1995 to realize that dream. And uh, Kawasaki's dream, uh, uh, it was uh, 10 years before this forum started, and the discussion already started 10 years ago, 10 years earlier than the forum. And Kawasaki, as you are familiar with, and Ecotown, uh, 200 hectare area, coastal area is called Kawasaki Ecotown. The Me Meti and uh, Health and Ministry industry co work together. Ecotown in uh, 26 cities are designated as Ecotown since 1997. And 10 years, we designate 10 of them. Uh, first four of them were Kawasaki, and Kita Kyushu was also designated as Ecotown then. And in that, Kawasaki is unique in that uh, there are recycle uh, facilities located, has begun to settle. As you can see here, the le legal side of uh, uh, recycling has appeared, and not just uh, collecting and separate them and use them, recycle them into production use. As is on the right top uh, from the how waste, plastic waste from the house or industry or home appliance or pet bottles. Kawasaki has uh, been collecting all these. And what is unique about them is uh, city uh, companies recycled them, meaning the closed roof recycle and put that back them back into product. That happened in Kawasaki City, inside the city. That is a community circulation type Echo Town was realized. That is what is unique about Kawasaki City. When I go overseas, uh, East is represented by Kawasaki, and West is represented by Kita Kyushu. Kita Kyushu has a recirculating process, but at the same time, Kawasaki collect the resources for recycle and use it at the production process. That is a circulation uh, process has been realized by Kawasaki, and uh, as I work together with the um, companies, people from companies, and uh, on the next page, this is uh, put into flows. It was uh, I was only talking about waste circle, but uh, this time, uh, cement factory is using using the waste. This is the flow, the material flow into production flow. And uh, the upper part of the hour shows that the natural resources like a limestone, clay, and coal uh, use, is used to produce cement. But in Kawasaki City, using waste, industrial waste, and the sludge 
or the rubbles from the construction. It used as a clay, as a, instead of clay and limestone, they use it. For, so upper part indicates that the uh, major part of the flow of the production, and the lower part is a circulation flow of, wa of like water. So the upper part black in turn into water side. So in the future, not depend we can produce it without depending on the resources. As you can closely look at it, the energy consumption will be much less. So we'll, we call it decarbonization effect. But the cement with the decarbonization will be able to happen. At the first forum, of the, uh, I, we discussed uh, on this topic. And we're in the uh, research team, and we visualized in, after research. So this is uh, on the left top is there are four graphs, uh, cement in Kawasaki, cement factory in Kawasaki. As CO2 emission was calculated, and actually company people in the Kawasaki took uh, the data and calculated. Not a uh, full bar chart indicates that the, on the left indicates that without circulation at all, without using the waste, cement was produced. But on the third from the left is uh, actually after using the circulation resource, uh, cement was created and the CO2 coming out of it, about 10% reduction of CO2. And what, what is possible in Kawasaki is uh, urban waste that is incinerated but uh, see, that can be used for uh, pr product as a substitute. Then further 30% of the CO2 will be reduced. With the current technology, that could be double. And in that, uh, in Kawasaki, not just within the industry, but uh, urban industry symbiosis happening, then we'll be able to see the decarbonization effect, and we'll be able to make a demonstration business for that. And we already started that discussion then. And uh, on the next page, uh, actually, there are ma many network already, uh, heat and uh, waste, heat and waste. Colored part is uh, factories, uh, steel and cement. They have already network, and this is the way to s circulation network, and this is infrastructure unique to Kawasaki, then let's make it into a carbon neutral and green economy. That is one of the start line of the, today's uh, discussion. Uh, two page ahead and one up or page. You can follow the animation. Like uh, in SDGs, in Kawasaki, SDGs, as our shows, uh, 12 of them is about recycling, responsibility to use, and by the eight and nine for the de deploying to economy in Kawasaki, and the reuse of heat, seven and 13 uh, contribute to climate change, and Echo Town, that is education for the citizens and for the senior uh, high school students, then number four, contribute to number four of SDGs. Also toward the future, o oceanic uh, environment, and uh, protection, and then out of 17 goals uh, with the uh, activities of Kawasaki, eight goals of SDGs are covered. So SDGs say inclusiveness. That is, a, Kawasaki uh, is a model of inclusiveness of SDGs. So with the Zoom, YouTube, how much uh, can be understood by YouTube, but uh, at the last uh, night meeting uh, forum, uh, people from overseas like Indonesia, China, Korea uh, visited, and uh, they wanted to uh, realize that the, the, your model to our industry development. That was the discussion last time. So that was a review, and uh, I have five minutes, and now I'd like to talk about the future deployment, development. On the next slide, please. And so city, urban and industrial decarbonization basis for resource supply. So becoming a hub for the global network. And next slide. And the Kawasaki for the past 20 years from the left to right. 
what happened in 20 years. From the left is uh, with the fossil fuels, with the depending on the import of materials and have a lot of waste and deteriorate the environment and uh, uh, process the sludge and so forth, waste that is on the left, but is be, as it becomes circulatory using the waste and materials on the left, we can have uh, less dependency on the overseas material. And as you can see further, as we go more circular, uh, like a green economy basis, a carbon neutral combinat or complex is the word that we hear a lot. In this area, we're carbon neutral, complex it would be can be realized and uh, to reduce scope three less burden products will be produced and with the less d transportation and there are consumers uh, with the within the less uh, shorter transportation distance so we're focusing on this area uh, urban industrial uh, basis symbosis as a base uh, to, by realizing this symbosis we'll be able to create realize a carbon neutral and uh, that's what we'd like to hear from you today on the next slide so there are so many industrial areas uh, urban and uh, fat plants are away apart and Kawasaki had many experience in had many discussions to live together and and live closely on the exist closely together. Then, green economy and decarbonization is less dependent on fossil fuels or not dependent on long distance transportation or large scale uh, pr production facilities or the. Consumption area and production area is close. That is the strength of the of the this area, and uh, under municipalities discussion, this has been the topic, and that kind of topic and discussion has is not just a theoretical topic. Uh, actually, we'd like to take an I uh, hope to act and make it evidence in Kawasaki and like to make it as mainstream. That is the number one proposal. And number two is uh, international deployment. On the next slide, please. Uh, number two is in, within Kawasaki, there has been, a, there was a co urban, uh, co company collaboration has been done and today's ECO forum and exhibition is unique in that this administration is supporting and Kawasaki and China City and circulatory technology of Kawasaki is to be deployed to China. That is the scheme. The, at the bottom, it, the, there's a name of the institutions and and the Shenyang and Kawasaki worked together and company to company collaboration happened and the municipalities of China uh, certified by Kawasaki, they uh, accept with confidence. And with, in order to do the assistance business, we have the Japanese government have a uh, agreement with Shenyang and Kawasaki for not just uh, Kawas uh, carbon neutral for the Kawasaki city, in order to deploy to overseas uh, alliance with the uh, local areas in the China and Kawasaki city is necessary. So that kind of uh, actual steps need to be taken that, uh, in order to create a green economy from Kawasaki. And now uh, we're I'm running out of time. Uh, on the last page, last slide. Yes. And in a sense, uh, 20th century, Kawasaki has done, produced uh, steel production, oil production, oil, electric supplies. Kawasaki was a center of industrial society of the 20th century, but moving gradually to circulatory and uh, infrastructure has been built and established. And uh, we, this represents the history of the area and with, the, with the experience and network with everybody uh, as a big asset. Uh, we deploy into, we will be, we'll be able to become the leader of green innovation of the 21st century. So carbon neutral is not so easy as I uh, study, but every day I feel it. 
it's not uh, you cannot uh, do it with only with the market economy but uh, uh, by taking action and companies action will be taken and certified by the municipalities and the government and institutions should submit as evidence and uh, small actions put together and gradually accumulate and uh, deploy disseminate into the society social system innovation, what is called in Europe, social innovations. The innovation will happen in Kawasaki. And this would conclude my uh, presentation. Thank you very much.